All right, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, guys. So uh, we're gonna be doing some reloading today. We got uh, Jesse here with me today, and we're gonna be trying to load up some shotgun shells. We got a couple different types of powder that we're gonna try, uh, some different wads that we're gonna try, and some different hulls. So we're gonna try a combination of everything, see how everything works in our guns, and see what works and what doesn't work. And we're going to take you guys along for the process on how to reload your own shells. So uh, once we get everything set up, we'll show you what we're going to be doing and we'll get after it. All right, guys, so we're set up here. We're going to be uh, depriming and reforming the hull. Where are they? Yep. Okay. So as you can see, the primer drops down below. And then the hull comes out and it is rounder than when it went in, which would be like this here. It also straightens any yeah, and, the base. and it'll straighten it or the base at all if it needs it. Then what we do is we take a new primer, put it in the primer cup, put the hole in. And keep your face back in case it does pop. Yep. Then you seat the primer. Make sure that it's not protruding out of the bottom at all. Good and flush. And then, and then you take your powder. That you have a pre-measured amount. You add it to your hull. And take your wad. And then you seat your wad on top of the powder. So since the way that we're doing it, we don't have a hopper that can actually drop these size of pellets. We got to count each pellet out to make sure that we have the right amount going into the or into the mm. hull. So we're doing how many is it? 27? 27. 27 into the hull. So he's going to count them out into the little tray and then we're going to dump that into it. So once we actually get going, I'll be counting them out as he's doing that. So, uh, yep, just count them out. And then you throw that inside of the hull with the wad, and then you crimp the top of it. I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay. You think that's gonna crimp? No, you will see. A lot. It is a lot. Pre crimp. It might get squished in there. Oh, crimp. Not the best looking crimp. interesting one <laughs> all right guys so this is what we're using here to find out what we're going to be using so uh, you just look up we're just using uh, 12 gauge two and three quarter inch shells and then you just find what powder you got and then what load you want to use how many grains and then your velocity and pressure of what it's going to be so you just got to look through your books on reloading and figure out what it is and like so we're loading buckshot, so go to buckshot in your book, find it, and figure out what powder you want to use for how fast you want it to be going, and you're all good. Hey 
you guys forgot to do an outro today, so uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more uh, reloading videos. We're going to be reloading a 6.5 Creedmoor in the next episode, and the episode after that we'll be testing those rounds. So until the next one, guys, have a good one. See you later, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, check me out on Instagram. Have a good one, guys. Bye.